Hello and welcome to another manga spotlight. So, uh, prepare for me to butcher this title. <laughs> so, Ori no Jinjitsu wa Wenai Game Katu Omotaro Inochigaki ni no Gamidara. Oh, I probably completely just fucked that up. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, I am not a Japanese speaker whatsoever. The only thing that I know are just a couple of words that I picked up because I'm a weeb and I watch anime. <laughs> but um, the English version of this is, uh, is my reality a love game? I thought it was a lifelike game. Uh, and as you can see, this is a very adult Manga, yeah, itchy, smut, uh, drama, mystery, psychological. This is basically, yeah, psychological thriller mystery with, uh, I wouldn't say horror, but basically it's a very adultish series. We're just going to jump right into it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyone who's familiar with Daisekai, I've heard that I'm pronouncing that genre wrong, but that's just the way I'm going to pronounce it because... Um, it's just easier for me. Basically, it borrows from that in that uh, our main hero wakes up and he has... It's almost like he's living a, a video game. He has like a status... But well, I'll show you guys. So our hero wakes up. He's in bed. He wakes up. He sees what looks to be a computer folder floating in front of his face. So he opens it up and he sees his status. So it's almost like he's in a nice state guy. Or he is uh, in Gamer. Or he's ba basically anyone familiar with games, kind of like that. He he has a status bar. It says his age, his current employment, his stamina, his charm, how much money he has, what his level is, how much experience he has, and his name, uh, Rio. Rio discovers that uh, he, he can also save his uh, his data, or he can save his, his life. And uh, keep this in mind, because this is going to play a huge part in the story. The whole save load feature <laughs> is brought up a lot for very good reason. So anyways, he, he's just kind of like, you know, what the hell's going on? So he he uh, he saves and then he loads and he realizes, oh, he, he you know, he it, it works. He, he can save his progress and he can load to previous save. He only has one save. So every save he does, he's basically overriding his data. So it's not like in video games where like, you know, like, you're like, oh, there's a tough choice. I don't know if I regret making this decision, so I'm going to make another save. Just in case I do, I can always go back to a previous save. No, in this, there's just one save. So he has to also be very careful about when he decides to save. I will say without spoiling anything, I feel like some of his saves, especially lately, he's not thinking too clearly about what when he's saving. He didn't. And I wonder if that's going to come back to bite him in the butt later on. But anyways, uh, he also discovers that there's an item shop. As we saw earlier, he has currency, and he can use that currency to uh, to buy stuff. So at this point, he decides to buy a scouter. Scouter plays a huge part in this, but I will read this. So uh, when using this ability, if you look at a target that is a female, her information and particular strategies to assault her will be displayed and updated. So he's like, assault women. Now this is getting interesting. So basically, he thinks that he might be in a, um, a hentai game. What's the Japanese word for Eroji? Erojai? I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it right. But he, he basically thinks he's in an uh, an H game, a hentai game, an adult game. And that he's supposed to assault women. I'm sure you guys can figure out where that's going. So he decides to test it out. So he looks out and then he scans this woman. So it's like uh, Masaki Arena, 21 years old in a relationship. Her difficulty level is C. She's a college student. Address isn't accessible at this level. Phone number isn't accessible at this level. Detail information isn't accessible, uh, accessible at this level. And then he scans another lady, Sakurai. 30 years old, married, difficulty E. Address isn't uh, accessible at this level. Phone number isn't accessible. Assault strategy. Constantly arguing with her husband, she usually sneaks out to different bars at night having multiple affairs. So he thinks, oh, this is going to be an easy target for, for him to... Uh, to assault. Uh, she's already having multiple affairs. She's at an E level of difficulty. So he decides to buy two items. He decides to buy a tranquilizing spray, which um, it does exactly what it, what it sounds like. It puts uh, his target to sleep. And he decides to get a multifunction key, which allows him to basically open up any door. 
Um, and he decides, well, now it's time for me to go out and assault women. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I shouldn't laugh because it's a serious thing. Um, just so you guys know, uh, for anyone who's like gone this far and is like, Pirate, what the hell are you reading? Don't worry. I guess a bit of a spoiler. This series has nothing to do with rape. Just so you guys know ahead of time. I know it says assault women. Uh, the word assault is actually... It would be an improper use of the word uh, assault. Uh, it's not what you think. Um, so let me just put your fears to rest. There's there's no raping of the women in this. The uh, assaulting women is actually something completely different, and I'll actually get into that when that time comes. But anyways, even though the little status didn't show her address, he already knows who she is because she's his neighbor. So anyway, since he knows who uh, where she lives, he decides to use the key to get into her apartment. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> he discovers that she's actually in there. She, uh, freaks out, starts screaming, and then everything freezes. Time freezes, and we get this cool black and white effect. It's actually, what, invert polarized effect? I forget the name of it. And then he gets two options. Option one, explain calmly that you are not a thief. Option two, use a tranquilizing spray. So he decides to use option number two, <laughs> and he tranks her. And then two more options pop up. Option one, raper. Option two, I'm a decent man. Let's stop here and search around her apartment. And being the kind of guy that he is, I guess, he decides, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to rape her. And I know I said that there's no rape in this. I still stand by that. There's no rape in this. Basically, he goes to, he clicks option one. He goes to force himself on her. And all of a sudden, the uh, police arrive, and then they grab him, and uh, they start marching him out, and that's when he realizes, oh shit, I have a save. So he uh, he loads up a previous save, and then he wakes up back in his bedroom. That's when he realizes, uh, I think I was misunderstanding the meaning of assault. But uh, anyways, he checks his stats. He also realizes his items are gone. So say he, he, he saves his progress, and then he buys some items. If he loads a previous save, he loses all the items he, he bought. Not only does he lose the items, he also loses the money that he spent on them. So he has to be basically very careful about what items he buys. He also has to be very careful about when he saves. He has to be very careful about when he loads. Because anything that he loads, he loses his, his items and the money that he spent on it. He does keep his memory intact, though. Uh, so he's able to kind of find a workaround on the, on the whole load and save uh, feature. Anytime when he, he, go, he loads a previous save... Anything, any progress that he made, obviously any experience, any level ups or anything like that, he loses, but his memory stays. So he, he can he can still use that. Anyways, he uh, he discovers that he has a time remaining, 8,759 hours. Time passed one hour. If you fail to seek pleasure within the remaining time, you will die in reality. So then this like freaks him out because he's like, I thought this was like, you know, like a dating sim for adults and that the whole point of this was to like assault women. And now he realizes that, no, he's not supposed to actually sexually assault them. He's supposed to do something. It says seek pleasure within the remaining time. Uh, the pleasure, again, is not anything sexual, just so you guys know. Uh, I'll get to that when it comes up. But he has to, uh, he has to basically, quote-unquote, seek pleasure so he can add more time to his timeline. Otherwise, once time runs out, he's dead. So he decides, you know what, I'm going to try this again. He buys the uh, the multifunction key once again, uh, and then he breaks into her house. But this time, he waits until he knows sh that she's gone. And while there, he um, searches through her house. So uh, yeah, he sees that uh, there's a debt request, uh, multiple debt requests. So he's searching around. He also realizes, okay, there's only one toothbrush. Um, so she she's uh, so that means her husband isn't living here. Uh, does assault mean fulfilling this woman's wish? And her wish to get back with her husband. Anyways, he uh, he bumps into her. He drops money because uh, he knows that she is very interested in money, especially since she's in debt. So he's doing this whole ruse so that he can score points with her. So he drops money, a lot of money. She gives it to him. So she starts putting the moves on him. And she takes her back to his apartment. And she decides, you know what? Let me go freshen up. So she leaves a little bit. And then that's when, boom, the option thing pops up. Option one, sneak into her husband's room. Option two, stay here and talk to her. So he decides, this time, you know what? I'm going to choose option two. So she comes back. She gives him some uh, something to drink, some refreshment, and he drinks it and realizes she poisoned him. 
<laughs> so now this is when we start getting into dark territory. And trust me, it's going to get a lot worse than this. So basically, he's dying. He hits uh, the load feature again. Loads back to a previous time. He redoes everything. So he, he, re, he uh, retraces his steps. Only this time, instead of choosing option two to stay here and chat with her, he decided to do option one, which is to investigate her husband's room. So he gets up and he goes to investigate her husband's room. She starts freaking out like crazy. And here's why. So we find a man in her apartment dead. Uh, it says uh, This is a man from yesterday. So when he was searching her apartment earlier, I didn't uh, screenshot this, but uh, she came home with another man. They had sex and fooled around um, while he kind of hid. And then uh, while they were busy getting it on, he snuck out of the house and left. And this is the man that she was fooling around with that he saw earlier. So she's basically bringing back dudes to her apartment and then she's killing them. And uh, <laughs> yep, this is when things just get really freaking dark. So of course she freaks out. She like goes all yandy on him. Chases him with a knife. She uh, He uses the um, tranquilizer spray to knock her out. And then he makes a uh, call to the police. Uh, and basically he escapes before the police arrive. But the police arrive. They see her. They see the dead bodies. And they kind of put two and two together. And uh, she gets arrested. And that's when uh, he gets like a little pop-up. It's like, you know, mission complete. Secret unlocked. The woman that goes mad because of money eliminated. Congratulations, 500,000 yen has been added to your savings, plus 35 experience points. And then that's when you realize, so this is the true meaning of a soul. This is definitely not a dating game. But if it really wants me to eliminate evildoers, then I guess it's much more meaningful than cheap dating games. So now I can talk about what exactly this manga is about. So the whole assaulting women is not sexually, but basically it means that he has to scan them. And certain women have some kind of dark evil past whether it's like this lady who basically murders uh who brings over guys sleeps with them and then murders them and steals their money basically there's these evil women out there they have some kind of hidden past her their past is kind of is usually very very dark criminally and it's his job to to stop them and that's when uh, the whole seeking pleasure uh, from these women is basically capturing them and putting them behind bars or in some cases, them dying. Uh, basically, he's putting a stop to them. And that's how he, he levels up and he continues on to the next mission. I'm not going to show any more because I don't want to spoil anything. That was just the first arc. We're already multiple arcs into this. I highly recommend reading this. This series is freaking amazing. But yeah, uh, basically, I guess too long didn't read. A uh, guy wakes up, realizes that uh, he's almost like in this video game world. Assumes it's a hentai world where he has to sleep with women. Turns out that no, his job is actually that the women are evil, murderous, and he has to find a way to stop them. And when he does, case solved, he gets uh, money, he gets experience points, and his uh, life bar extends. His time left extends so he can live longer. And he has to basically keep doing this uh, while he tries to figure out how he got into this situation in the first place, what's going on. Um, he gets quote-unquote partners these two right here uh this girl is very effed up <laughs> this girl is also messed up but she's adorably messed up like i really like this character this character is a freaking psycho but yeah it, it's it's really freaking interesting and it, it's it's kind of cool trying to like unravel what the hell is going on what's wrong with these women uh what's the mystery how's he gonna solve it the fact that he i mean he He's not a detective in any way, so he, he screws up constantly. Um, thankfully, again, he has this, the whole save load thing so he can try to correct his mistakes. But um, yeah, this this is like a really freaking awesome series. Like I'm loving it. But yeah, uh, I highly recommend it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, hit the bell for notification. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to comment down below. Please share this with friends, family members. I always feel weird saying family members. Like, hey mom, check out this video <laughs> about this crazy manga that, you know, I've been hearing about. But no, I sh share, you know, with people who, who are interested in manga and stuff. I have a bit shoot 
If you guys are interested, I have a minds.com. If you guys are interested, I don't do any like exclusive videos or anything like that. So which you guys see here, you guys will see there, except some things you won't see in uh, minds because minds has a, a time limit on how long your videos can be. I, th I believe it's 15 minutes. Um, it's, it's really hard to sometimes get under that. So I have a uh, YouTube bit shoot, uh, minds.com. I have Twitch. If you guys are interested in watching me stream video games, I also have a Twitter, all that stuff I'll leave down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, actually, before I sign off, if you guys have any mangas that you guys recommend, if there's any mangas you guys would like to see me do reviews for, let me know. If it's a long-running series, I might just like review like the first chapter or so. Also, if there, I mean, if there's any specific genres you guys are interested in, if you're like, hey, you know what, pirate? Like, I'm trying to get back into manga. And I'm looking for some horror comedies or something. Or I'm looking for some uh, fantasy mangas. Or I'm looking for whatever mangas you're looking for. Feel free to, you know, say, hey, I'm looking for, for this kind of manga. And um, I'll maybe go and do a uh, spotlight for you guys. On, uh, otherwise, I'm just basically just going to be picking random stuff out of my, uh, my manga list. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.